So out of the 32 NFL franchises, four of them do not have official mascots. Some of them have unofficial mascots, but none of them have official ones. So let's start out with number 32, the New York Giants. I'm using their mascot from a Campbell Soup commercial, which is whatever this monstrosity is. It looks like a giant baby in a Giants uniform. Campbell Soup, I think, used it for a commercial, but other than that, the Giants don't officially have a mascot. But to include him in this list, I had to put something here. So this is pretty scary. I'm pretty terrified. Probably scares a lot of your kids. But this is the mascot and number 32, the New York Giants. Number 31 is the Washington Redskins with their unofficial mascot, Chief Z. Chief Z was basically a super fan of the Washington Redskins. He would dress up in like a Native American costume. Unfortunately, he died in July of 2016. But a lot of fans knew him around the stadium, and I believe he would go to every home game. So he's basically just a dude dressed up as a Native American. He has the feathered hat, and he has outfit. He's in the Redskins colors. He's going to have to be in number 31 because he's unofficial, but he's on this list nonetheless. Number 30 is the New York Jets with their unofficial mascot, Fireman Ed, who is also a super fan of the New York Jets. He goes to every home game. All he does really is just wear a Jets jersey and then he has a fireman hat in the Jets style with the Jets colors. He's one of the guys that are well known to start the Jets chant which is J-E-T-S Jets 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 and he's unofficial but nonetheless I gotta put the Jets on the list and they're at number 30. Number 29 is the Green Bay Packers. They also don't have an official mascot but I made an exception for them because they're really well known for the cheese head. A lot of fans went to the stadium to support the team, and many of them have the cheese head. So they don't really have an official mascot or an unofficial mascot, but I'm going to put them in at number 29 because of the idea behind the cheese head and how the whole fan base embraces it. Now moving on to the official NFL mascots, we start out here with number 28, the Raiders and Raider Rusher. And this mascot is pretty scary and probably the worst one in the league. It's basically just a helmet with a guy inside with just a face and then legs attached to it with hands inside the head. It's very scary. He does have the Raiders colors, the black and silver, but he's pretty terrifying and, and I know little kids are probably scared of him too. Number 27, we have the Chargers with Boltman and he's a pretty scary looking mascot as well. Kind of looks like to me that his face is melting off from like the sun. I mean, the whole helmet kind of looks plastic in most of the pictures that he's in. But he does have some pretty cool dad shades, and he's wearing basically just a normal Chargers uniform with the number one. His head's definitely pretty scary. Sorry about that, Chargers fans. But he does look pretty scary, and he's definitely really low on my list. Number 26 on this list, we have the Patriots, Pat the Patriot. And he's basically just a simple Patriot, I guess, with a Patriots uniform on. He's not really resembling anything from the Revolutionary War. Maybe you can say Paul Revere, possibly, but not really, in my opinion. He's very simple, and his face is kind of scary as well. You don't want to see him running after you. So I'm going to give him the number 26 spot. Number 25 is the Cowboys Rowdy. He's pretty creepy. His face is uh, a little too happy, in my opinion. He's basically just wearing a normal Cowboys uniform, and he's got the cowboy hat on, which looks pretty cool. It's probably the best part of the costume, but everything else... It's pretty basic. His face, definitely terrifying in my opinion. Doesn't really resemble a cowboy. I'd much rather them have like an actual person just be a cowboy on the field and be their mascot instead of having this really scary human face. I've noticed a lot of the mascots actually with human faces don't really look that good and are kind of scary. So I'm not really a big fan of this one. Number 24 on this list, I have the Saints, Sir Saint. He'd be way lower on my list if it wasn't for his sidekick Gumbo, which is his dog. But Sir Saint is pretty ugly. He's got a huge chin, which is completely unnecessary. I don't understand why they have this here, but his chin's huge. He reminds me of the Crimson Chin. I don't know what they thought when they made this mascot, but he does not look good. Number 23 on this list, we have the Buccaneers with Captain Fear. And he's supposed to be resembling like a pirate who's invading like the Florida coast or whatever but he looks more like a toddler dressed up as a pirate I mean it's pretty scary the face doesn't look good at all and for some reason they give him a unibrow he, he just doesn't really look that good at all I don't know what this is uh, I'm not a big fan of this mascot number 22 on this list we have the 49ers with sourdough Sam and he's supposed to resemble a California gold miner because that's what the 49ers are supposed to resemble as well he basically is just wearing a 49ers jersey 
and he's got some overalls he's got a cool pickaxe which i'm a big fan of but his face man it's kind of scary too you know human faces do not work on mascots i don't know what these teams are thinking i feel like if they just used an actual person it would work better but he's number 22 on my list number 21 we got the steelers with steely mcbeam and he's supposed to resemble a construction worker who would build skyscrapers back in the day and out of all the human mascots this one is basically the best one he does look pretty good and he's got a steel beam over his shoulder it looks really good and that's why he's a little bit higher on my list at number 21. number 20 we got the dolphins td and he's basically just a dolphin in a miami dolphins uniform he looks pretty good though he has the small helmet which is kind of funny and that's what they have in the logo but overall he's in the uniform he looks really good he doesn't really have anything iconic about him but he does look pretty accurate to a dolphin and he works pretty well and i'm sure a lot of the miami fans really like him and he looks really good as a mascot at number 19 we have the panthers with sir purr and he's a pretty good looking mascot he's got the black fur the panther and the blue eyes which really matches the panthers colors and he basically just wears a Panthers jersey with Sir Purr on it. I do know one of his things is he pounds like a good drum, which is pretty iconic for a mascot. And I think overall he looks really good and is a good representation of the Panthers and the team in general. Number 18, we have the Ravens with Poe. And he's basically just a Raven, Black Raven. He's got the cool Baltimore Ravens jersey on. And he's basically just a good looking mascot, nothing too special. But I'm sure a lot of the kids like it who go to the Baltimore Ravens games and he brings a fun atmosphere to the crowd and the game and just the people in general. So he's a good looking mascot overall. Number 17, we have Freddie Falcon for the Atlanta Falcons. And in my opinion, he's a good mascot. He's got the jersey, but in my opinion, his feathers a little bit too ruffled for me. I'm sure he really entertains the crowd and the little kids in the Falcon Stadium, and he probably does a great job letting them forget all the sad playoff games that they had and overall disappointment they had in the city of Atlanta. Sorry about that, but he's a good mascot, and I kind of like it. Number 16 is the Vikings with Victor, the Viking. He's a pretty good-looking mascot as well. I believe the Vikings had a, like, a human-like mascot who used to blow a huge horn and used to pump up the crowd. I think they got rid of him. Now they got this fake one, I guess. But he does look pretty cool. He's got like a football axe instead of a normal one. And he does really resemble the Vikings logo and colors and brand pretty well. So it's a good mascot. Number 15, we have the Colts with their mascot named Blue. And he's supposed to resemble like a horse. But he can't really tell that. I mean, I guess you can argue that's a horse, but not really. He's got some pretty cool stuff. He's a little bit fatter than normal mascots, which is fun. He can do his belly wiggling thing that the Philly Fanatic does. And he just overall is a decent mascot. And I actually like him. I know a lot of people think he's kind of creepy, but I like him. So there we go. Number 14, we have the Bengals with Hude. Or as I like to call him, Tony the Tiger. Because he's basically just a tiger. Tony the Tiger looks the same. I mean, you can't really go wrong with the Tiger mascot. I mean, this is a pretty decent mascot. Nothing too bad about him. Not really any serious flaws, so looks good. At number 13, we have the Lions with their mascot, Rory. And just like the previous one, it's pretty hard to mess up a Lion mascot. But in general, this one looks pretty good. So he's wearing the Lions jersey and the pants. I like this mascot a lot. It looks really good and good job on the Lions. Number 12, we have the Titans with t rack which is a raccoon mascot. You'd think that the Titans would have like a mascot that resembles like a Titan or a Spartan or something to do with Greek mythology possibly, but they have a raccoon, which I think is actually kind of original and I really like it a lot. It's pretty accurate and I think it looks really good. Number 11 is the Jaguars with Jackson DeVille, and he's a pretty cool mascot. He's the Jaguar, but he's really well known across the NFL for doing some pretty funny stuff and entertaining the crowd really well. I believe he even got some mascot rules changed back a few years ago. So he's pretty funny and he's a little bit fatter than the typical mascot, but he looks really good and the sunglasses are a great touch to this mascot and makes him look really cool. At number 10, we've got the Bears with Staley the Bear and he's basically just a simple Bears mascot. He looks really good though and I do like how they made him a little bit grumpy. His eyes are a little bit angry and grumpy. It really adds to the mascot character, and I believe he was named after 
the Decatur Staley's, who used to actually be the franchise before they became the Chicago Bears. Correct me if I'm wrong on that, but he does look really good and is pretty accurate to what a bear would look like as a stuffed animal. Number nine, we have the Rams with Rampage, and he's just basically a Ram mascot. He is pretty accurate to the team colors and the brand, but some people say that his face is a little bit too furry, but I think he's good and he's just a solid mascot all around. At number eight, we've got the Chiefs with their mascot, KC Wolf. He's really fun with the kids and he looks pretty funny too, and I really like him. He's probably one of my favorite mascots. I know I have him at number nine, but he looks really good in general and his really cool Hawaiian pants, I'm a big fan of, you know? Number seven, we have the Cardinals with their mascot, Big Red, and he's just basically a Cardinal mascot. He looks really good. The bright red is very vibrant, and I really like the bird mascots in general. That's my personal opinion. So I think Big Red looks really good as a mascot and pretty accurate to what an actual Cardinal looks like. At number six, we have the Broncos with their mascot, Miles. He's got the orange mane and the orange tail, but overall, he's just a white stallion horse. And I think he just looks really good and the colors on him look great. The orange and the white really make each other stand out and the blue accents really add to it as well. So I think he looks great as a Broncos mascot. At number five, we have the Philadelphia Eagles with their mascot Swoop, who is a bald eagle. And he looks really good and resembles a bald eagle pretty well. He's wearing the normal Eagles jersey and pants. He looks just very good and probably one of my favorite mascots. Obviously, you can tell he's in my top five. Number four for the Buffalo Bills, we have Billy Buffalo, who is just a very large blue buffalo or bison, which is what the Buffalo Bills are named after. He looks really good, and I know that the Buffalo Bills logo is blue, so it kind of makes sense. He looks really good and is a great idea for mascot, in my opinion. At number three, we have the Texans with their mascot, Toro. And Toro is a bull, and he just resembles a bull really well. He's a little bit darker blue, like the Texans colors, and he's just fun and probably creates a lot of entertainment for the kids and the fans of the Houston Texans. So I think he's a great mascot in general. At number two, we have the Browns with their mascot Chomps, who is a dog. And basically, he's like the perfect mix of an angry dog and a happy puppy. He looks really good as well, and he gets approval from everyone. I saw a lot of other lists ranking mascots, and he's really high up on most of the list so a lot of people like him me included he's uh one of my two favorites finally number one we have the seattle seahawks with their mascot blitz and basically he's like a perfect mix of my favorite bird mascots and he's pretty intimidating just look at his face and his name is blitz which is also intense and intimidating so this is probably the best mascot in the nfl in my opinion so he looks really good and the colors look really cool and just overall, just a great mascot. Probably my favorite in the whole entire NFL. Now guys, in the comment section below, please type up who your favorite and least favorite mascot in the NFL is. Just remember, this is just my opinion. You might have something different. So tell me down in the comment section, like this video, subscribe if you're new, and check out one of these two videos on screen here. You might like them.